show you or four more cuts to show you, sorry. We've got a Batonet, we've got an Allum Allumette, we have a Julienne and a Fine Julienne. Again, as previously noted with the potato, uh, if you can do the, the rectangle, uh, for instance, the Baton, the Batonet, the Allumette, the Julienne, the Fine Julienne, if you can do that, you got that mastered, all you got to do is turn it sideways and you can get your corresponding dice that goes along with it. Okay? So first off, again, we've got a, a, a rolling surface, but we want to cut the stem and the, the uh, tip off. So we're going to basically, again, get a good grip on that carrot. We're going to cut it off. Now typically, the, the stem end, we don't save, sorry. And the, the uh, red end, we typically will save that. But this end, most often we throw it away. A lot of times this gets real bitter, so if you try to make a stock with it, it'll be very bitter. So we end up throwing this into the discard or the trash pile. From here, again, everything is two and a half inches long. We want to first take and cut our pieces that, that length. So roughly about two and a half inches long. Any extra that you have, put it into your scrap pile. And now, as always, we want to make sure that we make this safe. So first off, we're going to grip it really tight, cut that bottom flat, and then we're going to square off the carrot. Now I'm using what's called horse carrots. These are much easier to work with, especially for competition and knife skills. If you're going to do, let's say, a steamed carrot, it's a good idea to buy the ones that you typically find at the store. They're a smaller carrot that typically are a little bit sweeter. These would be great for roasting as far as the horse carrots, uh, making a soup out of, whatever it may, your application might be. You can do it for a julienne, for a uh, stir fry, things like that. But um, I definitely wouldn't uh, use them for like a steam. Like a steamed vegetable if you're wanting that real uh, nice bright sweetness from a, a fairly young carrot. So again we're going to square off the carrot as we did with the potato. Make sure your edges are nice and square and if they're not find the edge that needs to be squared off a little bit more. Looks like we've got a nice square piece. All your scrap pieces we're going to put off to the side. First cut we're going to do is a batonet. A batonet is a half inch wide. So it's going to again be about half the width of our finger. We'll lay it flat. A lot of times they'll make uh, french fries out of this. This will also be a good application for roasting. Now again we've got carrots here so this will be more like for a roast carrot. If you're going to do this with a, a potato this will be a large french fry but this will be a form of french fry. So batonet. Batonet if we turn it sideways we end up with a medium dice and again we turn it sideways cut it a half inch wide and we get our medium dice. Now why is this important? Why is it important? Why is it important that we have certain cuts and we are accurate with those cuts? One is appearance. The other is for cooking methods. If I'm wanting something to cook fast, I wouldn't use a large dice or a medium dice. I would go in more into a small dice. But a lot of it too is the final appearance. What it looks like what we're using it for. If I'm using this for a finished garnish on a, on a dish, I want that brightness and also that size. Uh, maybe I'm wanting it for a, uh, a finished garnish on a